once upon a time, there were two people. These two people were very idiotic. There was an urgent message from a rescue centre. Unfortunately, the message got delivered accidentally to these two idiots. Their names were, well, no one knows because no one cares. All we need to know is that they were on a top secret mission. Did you get the scroll? Sure did. I don't know what it says, remember? I just saw it from that guy. What the hell? It's just numbers and letters. Rubbish! Worthless piece of... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know what those numbers might be. They look like coordinates. You really think that they're going to be coordinates? Well, for starters, I've seen those coordinates before, those exact ones. I just can't remember where the location was. We could put it on the supercomputer. That is a good idea. Returned result. By Wrong Creek, Harry Graham. Know the coordinates, so what does the second part mean? There were heaps of them. Returned result. Unreadable ASCII text file. Little did they know, they had come across hexadecimals. The computer couldn't process the hexadecimals, so they were stuck. Oh well, too bad. Well that's useful. By that I mean not useful at all. Why don't we go to the coordinates, and then we might be able to figure out what the second part means. That is a good idea. They ran to the creek very slowly, because they were born in the year 1932, so they were very, very old. Right, there's some sort of computer here. I don't really know what we're looking at. Hex editor, what's that? I know, it's a hexadecimal viewer. Maths is more than just numbers. Maths is the universe. More coordinates. Yay! Unfortunately, there were more coordinates, which meant more very slow running. Maths is the universe. Maths is the universe. What do you think that means? I don't know. Maybe something to do with quantum mechanics? We need a quantum computer. Oh, uh, I have one in my bag. Computer said that we were going to be given coordinates. Returned result. The trees next to the creek, Harry Graham Park, fig tree. However, there is some engraving on a tree. You must find that tree. Luckily, I brought my new Scanomatic 2000 Pro with me. This can identify coordinates, binary, and more with the click of a button. Well, that is a big ruling. Marcus saw a tree with some engraving in it. He decided not to run to it, but to walk, very slowly indeed. Hey Ziggy! Yeah? This tree has some engraving on it. What does it say? It says... 0010011001000011001 Okay, not to worry, my scanner can identify this. It says multiply 3 and 16 to go to the bushes. Well, that's easy, that's 48! Let's go! Oh, that was oh, a long journey. God! Are you sure about the bushes? Yeah, there's someone that's fine there. I think we need to solve an algebra question. How do you know? It says so on that sign right there. 4m squared minus 3 times m minus n. That's what we need to solve. Good luck! See ya!
No! No! What? What's happened? I got the one algebra answer! Wow, I'm surprised they got this far. Hmm, it looks like we're falling through the fabric of space and time. How would you know? Well, it says it on the phone. Yeah. Wait, this isn't just any black hole. This is a super massive black hole that's about to destroy the Earth! How are we gonna get out? There's another question. That doesn't look like a maths question. No, it looks like a geometry puzzle. That's what it meant by maths is more than just numbers going to be hard. We've got to try anyway. The question is, how many squares are there? Almost done! I'm working on it! Quick! Th we're almost near the black hole! Ah! You just didn't finish that question in time. I know. There's a big red button over there. Isn't it advised not to click the big red button? Just press it. Okay. We finally know why maths is more than just numbers. Maths is all around us. The universe is made of math. Physics, geometry, and life as we know it. It's all connected to math. Maths, maths is, is more than, than just numbers. numbers. And that is how these two idiots got home. They completed the mission that wasn't supposed to be sent to them, and they succeeded. They found out why maths is more than just numbers. Unfortunately, when they got home, they encountered a bomb and blew up.